Paul Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. My questions are directed to the Minister of Industry. What are the specific quantities of critical PPE, so masks, gowns, face shields, gloves, and hand sanitizer, that Canadian industry is currently producing on a daily basis? The Honourable Minister. Uh, can you hear me now? You're on. You You're good. Me? Can you? Okay, wonderful. So thank you very much uh, for that question. As I highlighted before, uh, with regards to face shields, uh, we are seeing Canadian companies produce them in the millions. Uh, with regards to masks, we engage Medicom, uh, which will again produce millions and millions of masks for N95 and surgical masks. How, um, how many today, Mr. Chair? How many, how many are being produced today? By Canadian we'll let the companies. minister finish, and then we'll come back to the second question, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Baines. Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, as I was saying, for ventilators, over thirty thousand ventilators built by companies like CAE, Starfish, ventilators for Canadians, and for gowns, uh, more than eighteen million gowns purchased through seven significant contracts by Canada Goose, Calco Group, Stanfield, Mustang Survival. And for hand sanitizers, domestic capacity for hand sanitizer is now at 15 million liters per month, which is the equivalent of six Olympic size swimming pools. All produced so by on Brent Paul Garner. So on, on Friday, the uh, Minister of Industry was unwilling to answer a question put to him by a CBC reporter on the number of domestic or the number of imported masks from China that were actually defective. And instead, he talked about strong domestic capacity. So I'm interested in him quantifying what exactly that means, because the Canadian Chamber of Commerce and my colleague Brad Radikoff and others have stated that domestic PPE supply will be needed in order for workers to be protected mm -hmm. and the economy to safely reopen. So how much is Canadian industry producing right now? And I, I noticed that the minister didn't talk about masks. And I'm just wondering what that delta is between the importation and domestic supply. And if Canadian businesses are going to have to be reliant on defective, potentially defective masks from China to reopen their businesses. The Honourable Minister. Again, um, I would like to thank the member for her very thoughtful question. We are trying to complement our efforts by continuing to purchase at a significant level, but also mobilize domestic industry. Uh, we had a call to action, uh, as I've indicated before, 6,000 Canadian companies have stepped up and each, every, each and every single day, we're seeing more and more Canadian capacity built up in a range of areas from gowns to masks, to hand sanitizers, to ventilators, all the essential personal protective equipment that the Canadian frontline healthcare workers need in the short term. But as the member raised uh, the point with regards to reopening up the economy and for broader use, we want to make sure we have strong domestic capacity as well. And it's great to see these made in Canada solutions. Sure. So the pride uh, that's going to help many Canadians in the future. Ms. That was in a response. That was in a response to my question. I asked how, mu how many masks are being produced in Canada versus what the total demand is. So what's the delta in terms of numbers, in terms of what we're being required to import that might be potentially defective, both today and then projected under the terms of provincial re uh, reopening efforts? The Honourable Minister. So uh, with respects to the demand, that demand is going to continue to increase. Uh, that number is going to continue to go up. And so we're leaving no stone unturned. Uh, we are completely mobilizing our strong industrial base to build up the domestic capacity. Of course, it's in the millions. So the company that I would like to highlight is Medicom, for example, in Montreal. They are building up local capacity that will provide us with how, many, how many masks, masks are they? 44 million. How many masks. masks are they producing today? on a daily basis. Yes, yeah, sorry, if I can just complete my thought. So like I said- oh, I picked my time. So how many masks are they producing on a daily basis? Actually, I just want to remind the honorable member that the questions come through the chair, and this is why we're trying to avoid it that way, or to what we're trying to avoid a back and forth. Uh, we still have about uh, 30 seconds. I'll let the uh, honorable minister uh, continue. So as I've indicated with Medicom, for example, this is a company that we've engaged. It's a Canadian company that's building up Canadian production uh, capability. Uh, they are looking to build 40 plus million masks on an annual basis. 
uh, for the next uh, 10 years. And this is a significant commitment. And this is going to be complemented by other Made in Canada solutions as well. Chair, Chair, the Honourable Member for West Nova, Monsieur 